Hey, how's it going, Art Nerds? And welcome back to another video that may or may not make you a little dumber by watching. It's the Diddy Mark channel. And in this video today, as you most likely read by the title, I'm gonna be discussing something a little... what's the word? Dark? Mm, no. <gasps> Depressing. There we go. Or even upsetting. That works too. So yeah, basically, I don't mean to be a Debbie Downer or whatever. I don't take enjoyment in delivering depressing news. I'm not some sick bastard who, like, I don't know, enjoys watching dreams die and children crying. No, I promise I'm only a tad bit deranged. <laughs> but yeah, what will I be talking about in this video and why am I talking about it? What sprung this video idea into my head? Well, if you must know, I'm going to be talking about the fact that as artists, especially those of us who work hard to improve at our skill, honestly, this could apply to anyone who works hard at anything at all, art related or not. But like I was saying, as artists or people who are passionate about a goal or improving at a craft, sometimes we often forget that we're not special or actually, better yet, we forget the world doesn't owe us anything. Wow, sounds like a douchebag thing to say, right? <laughs> <laughs> I know, don't worry, I'll go more into what I mean later in the video, and I promise there's a silver lining at the end, or I guess better yet, there's a positive message at the end. I hope. So yeah, yeah, as I said in the intro for this video that will hopefully be a short one, I said I want this video to act as a reminder to not only you guys, but honestly myself, that the world doesn't owe me anything, or that I'm not special. You see, I feel the responsibility to make this video and put it out there for you all to see because if you haven't noticed yet, my videos have an overall theme or aura of motivation to them. Oh my goodness, if you haven't noticed that by now, I, bro, I don't, I don't even know what to tell you. Are you, are you stupid? <laughs> Anyways, every time I make a video talking about something art related or maybe even not art related, I want you to walk away from it feeling like you can conquer the world, that you can achieve your wildest, biggest dreams. And I'm proud of that. And I still stand by each and every one of those videos. I think that motivation I put in my videos that get some of you guys' blood boiling could just be what someone out there needs to just get over a hump or, or power through something hard in their lives. And I love that my videos do that. But I'd be wrong to let you all walk away thinking just because you worked the hardest or you bled the most for something means you're owed that. Or, or that you're gonna get it. And yeah, I know it's a sad and a depressing fact about life. The thing is, the idea for this video hit me because like for the past four days, I've been going hard as f pushing myself to the absolute limit, grinding, working hard and going absolutely batshit crazy on illustrations, commissions, YouTube videos, Patreon stuff, comics, all the social media influencer crap and a bunch more stuff. And at some point, I found myself feeling burnt out, exhausted, and I realized I hadn't even eaten anything that entire day or even the day before besides coffee in the morning. See. I mainly go as hard as I do, not because I got anything to prove to anyone and not only just because I'm passionate, but because I'm also ambitious and I have big dreams. But in that moment of exhaustion, I asked myself, is all this worth it? I'm almost quite literally killing myself for the fattest maybe. <laughs> Long story short, I had a realization that grinding art and in the process, losing sleep, not eating, continuing to work while you're in a burnout or you're hurt. How much would that actually contribute to your final end goal? Is the difference between you eventually succeeding and not because you chose to pull all-nighters every day instead of just going to bed? I don't think so. All in all, I think you should just enjoy the process and yes, work hard if you want. Like, you can go absolutely full Super Saiyan on that shit. It don't matter. So long as it's coming from a good place and so long as you realize that all that extra grind and the stuff that you suffer through just to do this, I get that while it's admirable, that stuff doesn't make you special in the sense that you're not owed anything, not by anyone and not by the world. So you can ruin your health, destroy your body and make your life so much more miserable all for the sake of a dream that might never even come true regardless or you can enjoy the entire process, whether it means taking it easy, doing just enough, or grinding towards your goal, whatever. So long as you're not naive enough to think that anything is owed to you. So what's the point then, Diddy Mark? Why should we even try? Why should we even bother? If even with all my effort and grind is all just one big gambling game, well, first of all, wipe your eyes, you whiny crybaby. Second of all, that's what I was talking about earlier in this video when I said there were positive takeaways. And surprise, surprise, there's three of them. So take a walk with me as we explore these three takeaways from this here video on which you gaze upon. And the first of the takeaways to remember is, yes, nothing is owed to you. And essentially trying to achieve any goal on this fat round blue rock we call a planet is essentially just playing a gotcha game on the highest difficulty. It's all different probabilities with each endeavor or goal you aspire to tackle having varying percentages of success. To try Translate what I just said from nerdy knees to dumbass knees, grinding art without having to kill yourself actually works in the sense that the better you get, the more you increase your probability of success, you feel me? So while it's not guaranteed, improving and becoming a better artist ups those percentages and in turn, the probability for you succeeding at this or whatever you're trying to do. Anyways, the second takeaway from the video is, believe it or not, 
not pulling all-nighters and going stupid hard wearing your health down is actually better for your improvement as an artist. Why? Well, because while resting is when our brains soak in information we picked up during the day. So staying up to a point where your brain is just exhausted and running on Red Bull isn't going to get you further along than a guy who chooses to go to bed instead of grinding anatomy all night. You get what I'm trying to say? I want you all to take breaks because breaks are always the best reset to put you and your brain back into work mode and in the best position to learn something new and improve. FYI, when I say stop grinding art and take it easy, I don't mean start procrastinating and playing video games all day just to then draw for only 20 minutes in a single day. No, 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 no. I simply want you to listen to your inner thoughts because they will let you know when you truly deep down the break and need to call it a night. Keeping things moving here, the last and final thing I want you all to take away from this video is something I already touched on earlier, and it's that even if you were to go hard and push yourself to the limit and honestly lose a little sleep or pull an all-nighter here and there, do it because you love it and do it because it's fun. Because we all have only one goddamn life to live, and I am a true believer that life <laughs> and being alive supposed to not suck. <laughs> so in conclusion, you and I, we may not be special, and yes, the world doesn't in fact owe us anything, but that doesn't mean we should just tuck ourselves away and never work for anything. No, if the world doesn't owe you anything, but it has something you want, we need to take initiative, try our best, and work our hardest to go f***ing take it then. Thank you all for watching this video, I appreciate it if you made it all the way to the end. You must look strange because you built different. <laughs> Anyways, shout out to my also lovely Patreons for supporting me and keeping food on my table. If you yourself want to support me on Patreon, the link is in the description down below. But yeah, don't forget to like the video to let me know you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe because that helps out the channel a lot. And lastly, don't forget to leave a comment because I read all and respond to most comments. Till next time, art nerds, it is I, Diddy Motivation Mark. Peace and love, baby.